Hey guys, welcome back. This is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Chain. Well, uh, time to talk about database defense now. Remember, on the left, you can see ten threats we mentioned in our previous video, and on the right, there are the tips you can follow to protect your database. Let's look at the uh, first one: the lack of vital patches. Well, uh, lack of vital patches opens the door for hackers. Please make sure your computer is properly patched and updated, since hackers and ransomware strains are constantly adopting to exploit weakness in earlier software versions. It's advisable to update these applications regularly, such as the version of your database, PHP, Tomcat, Nginx, and others. So you should regularly update your operating system, patches, and your database. Next, privilege abuse. Privilege abuse will lead to serious damage to your database, such as accidental data revision. Grant permission to users one by one can easily bring privilege abuse, especially many people prefer to use grant all command. You should aim for the least number of people possible to have access to your database. Administrators should have only the bare minimum privileges they need to do their job, and only during periods where they need access. For smaller organizations, this might not be practical, but at least permissions should be managed using groups and roles rather than、um, granted. Directly, for better efficiency, you can do it under the help of DMS on Alibaba Cloud to manage roles and privileges. And next, the human factor. The human factor is something very difficult to control, such as、um, sharing the password with others, accidental deletion, writing slow queries, and etc. But、uh, there are still some actions you can do. Implementing strong password is the first step you can take to strengthen your security in this area. Define your password principle to ensure everyone in your company to follow the rule to use complex password and change before the expiration date to prevent passwords like admin. Next, weak audit trails. Weak audit rules gives everyone a choice to do harm to your database in silence. Effective monitoring should allow you to spot when an account has been compromised, when an employee is carrying out suspicious activities, or when your database is under attack. It should also help you determine if accounts are created without your permission, for example, by a hacker. There are many, many ways to do auditing. We recommend you to take benefits from DMS on Alibaba Cloud to do database auditing. Next will be a database backup exposure. Backup is very important to your critical database, but database backup exposure will be a disaster. How to prevent? Well, these are our recommendations. You can use DBS. Data backup service on Alibaba Cloud to encrypt your backups. Use RDS to encrypt your data store via TDE, transparent data encryption, and data transmission procedure via SSL. Another important issue is the avoidance of SQL injection attacks. SQL injection is a form of web hacking. Well, by SQL statements are specified in a web form to expose data to attacker. Appropriately, using well-designed query language interpreters and coding applications can help to prevent SQL injection attacks. Additional techniques for halting SQL injection attacks include using static SQL instead of dynamic SQL. Proper、uh, validation and testing of user input, forcing appropriate limits to prevent buffer overruns, 
and avoiding the concatenation of user input to SQL. Here, we recommend you STAS, Data Autonomy Service on Alibaba Cloud, which can do automatic detection to prevent SQL injection. Well, next, platform vulnerabilities. Platform vulnerabilities can bring damages to your database too. Generally, a web server is more likely to be attacked since um, it's publicly accessible. And if a web server is compromised and, and the database server runs on the same machine, the attacker would have access as the root user to your database and data. So, sounds dangerous, right? Separate database servers and web servers can keep your data security even if the web server has already been taken. Okay, uh, comparing with building a database server by yourself, it's better to use cloud-managed database such as RDS. DDoS, denial of service attack. DDoS happens when you have weak cyber security protection. At least, you should put firewalls in place to keep security controls of your database. Set up IP allow list for your database instance if you are using a cloud database. And for endpoint, better to have private access, which is from your uh, you know, ECS instead of public access. Is more secure. And next, enablement of too many useless functions may add more risks to your database. That's why you need to test your database security periodically, even use third party services or hire white hat hackers. And the last one, encrypted sensitive data can also lead to data breaches then you might suffer, you know, reputation and financial damages. DMS, Data Management Service on Alibaba Cloud, is what you can use to identify sensitive and critical data. Moreover, it even supports data masking. This technique is especially used and recommended for database that are part of our testing and the development environment because it allows you to preserve the logical structure of your data while ensuring that sensitive client information is not available outside the production environment. Of course, there are many other techniques and methods available for improving the protection of the vital corporate data stored in your databases. In this video, we just uh, you know, have only scrapped the surface in talking about database security solutions. Next time, we'll use those knowledge above to get into practice. Will you come? Yeah. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in our channel next time. Bye.